right guys, pretty exciting. We've, since the last video, we've got the gravel put in place. I haven't compacted it yet, but we got all the gravel in. We've got the concrete walls poured. I did put a drain in there just in case we want to do a floor drain, since we might change things up. And this might not be a goat stall anymore. But you guys are just gonna have to keep watching to find out what it's gonna be. So, I got some of the framing in for the back wall and for the window. We got two windows that we're gonna put in here and they're gonna be actual windows. They're not gonna be barn windows that I make uh, because we want these ones to have screens on them to keep the flies out and we want them to seal really tight. So this room is now gonna be separate from the barn. So you guys, you guys have any guesses on what we might be building. <laughs> it's gonna be closed off, concrete floor, uh, windows with screens on it and a man door to get in and out so um, yeah it's really cold and we're just trying to wrap up for the day and get everything all done and measure up for the next for the next wall but so far the project's been going pretty smooth the goats have been uh, the goats have been helping out <laughs> A lot of the supplies we picked up from BMR, which is uh, Building Materials Resources, and they're in Sherwood, Oregon. And it's just a, such a great facility. I mean, they've got all kinds of cool stuff in there. Uh, this trip, we managed to get some really cool uh, doors that we're gonna use. Um, I'm gonna have to build the frames all custom, um, but they're just really cool doors, and they were at a great price. We also got two vinyl windows from there um, at a great price. So BMR, if you guys are local to Oregon or uh, maybe down in, you know, close by Sherwood, uh, it's a great place to go. Really recommend going there. Awesome people and just great stuff. So it's also where we got a lot of the cedar that we sided the barn with. And they just have great prices. And they've got a lot of uh, unique items there at their shop. So I would check them out, definitely. So I'm really excited about the new additions to the barn. It's going to be really awesome. We are down to milking just one goat, still milking Dottie to make sure she gets her star. She's got, we just did one test, but we wait for the paperwork to come back to make sure she's good to go, reached her 240 days and eight tests, and then she'll be done milking. And then we will have our milking break. And that's when we're going to focus on getting the barn finished and just relaxing for winter. I did re-ultrasound maple because the last one was kind of iffy and it looks like she definitely is bred and she possibly has quads in there so that's exciting. Hey guys, I'm down at the barn. Unfortunately, everybody has came down with the good old influenza. We all just got done with a bout of the flu. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Jace got it first and he's been down for a little while. He's on the mend, he's back to his old self but still coughing a lot. I was down for a solid three days. Uh, didn't get out of bed for three days. And I'm back to, back to normal, so um, I feel better. Jennifer has it now. She was the last one to get it. So she's up at the house just resting and, you know, doing what you do when you've got the 
crappy flu. So it's really sucked, but it's time to ultrasound some more goats. So since I'm rolling solo, I'm gonna get the ultrasound machine fired up and we're gonna see if we can see any babies on Dottie, Lemon, and Mavis. Okay, Dottie is 36 days bred and she was bred to justice. So pretty excited about these babies. Um, it'll be really nice to see some justice um, justice babies. We had a few last year, but we didn't end up keeping any. Uh, so this year we'll, we might possibly keep one out of, the, out of Dottie. All right, and really excited about this breeding. This is Lemon. She's 30 days bred and she was bred to Drogo, which is out of Dottie and Braun. So we're really excited to bring uh, Dottie's lines in there, and that is a line breed on some of the genetics that are on Dottie's side, um, with some of the nicer goats being the top contributors there. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Then we also bred Drogo to Mavis. So we're pretty excited about those babies also. Mavis is 29 days. So we're gonna see, Dottie we should be able to see something for sure. Lemon and Mavis, we'll see. All right, you get this thing set up here. Get you guys set up so you can see. Okay, now you guys know that I'm not the best ultrasound technician. Our technician called out sick today. So, you guys get me. Regroup, didn't get it on the first try. Okay, attempt number two. I have to hold her leg up. She's kind of, she kind of wants to squat on me. Okay. All right, so we got lemon on there now. Let's try to get you guys in a good shot here. Let's try to see if we can see anything on lemon. So lemon doesn't have an udder, so she might be a little easier. Up is Mavis. I'm gonna try to get this at a better angle. So it's hard to tell, but I think I see him right up there. And I see three, I think, right at the top there. I don't know if you guys can see it because the it's hard to like see under an angle. There's three right up there. All right, guys, what wasn't the best ultrasounds, but that's what you get from your uh, your fill-in ultrasound tech. Okay, I've given Lemon a little trim so I can get a better connection. She's one of my more exciting breedings. I really want to confirm that she is bred. So look at her beautiful teats coming in, but shave that little area, see if I can get a better picture here. Yes, much better. I did confirm some babies. A little early to count, but definitely see some sacks. See that? Let's see if I can. Hey, lemon. We get more gel. Thanks for. Hanging out with us in this video, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.